Andrew, I cannot wait to show you the latest in racing car electric technology. I know about it, don't scale electric. They do twice the speed, they're awesome. I played with one the other week. You're missing it, Andrew. This is the real stuff. This is 100 mile an hour stuff. And here it is right here, look at this. This is a 100 mile an hour electric vehicle. Yes, it is. It's a race car. So Dennis, you're the brains behind this, right? Yes, I designed the chassis originally. Um, it started out life as a gas-powered car. It's, uh, this is what we call the DP1E, the one being my very first car. I met up with Larry Reinhardt, who's been developing motor controls and electronics, and it just so happened he needed a chassis to test his controller in. It was one of those opportune things. I said, well, I have one of those things laying around. <laughs> We learned a lot, and there's still a lot to be learning. This is a very new field. So the big challenge uh, is to have, be able to sustain the power output that's necessary for track racing. This really has shocked me because I really didn't know that you could race an electric vehicle or that that, that, that technology was even available. Would it be possible, if I'm very careful and I listen to you, to be able to take this for a little spin around the lot? Absolutely. Man, that's got, I'm just getting used to it. Very, very different sitting in a car this close to the ground. Huge amount of traction, huge amount of Gs in the corner. I'm just getting used to it. But let me tell you, the torque when you put your foot down is unbelievable. You just rock it forward. Wow. Too much fun, man. Oh my gosh, I gotta tell you. So I've gotta get Don in here, he's gonna love it. He's gotta feel this thing. But before I do that, he apparently is learning a little bit more about the intricacies of the mechanics of this thing. We make the power electronics uh, modules that go in electrified vehicles. Mm -hmm. So we work on military ground vehicles, big tanks with 600 horsepower motor drives. We work in Formula One. In uh, Curse Control, we provide the electronics to three teams this, this season. Let's see what this mule that. looks yeah. like. It has a chain drive to a center differential. So that feeds that center differential, which has a chain that comes to a differential up here in the front. There's another chain that goes to the back. So the single motor drives all four corners of the car. That, that silver box there is our drive. That is a copy of our commercial drive. Wow, this thing's just surrounded in batteries. It is. These are lithium ion batteries. These happen to be Thunder Sky batteries. So we have to convert the energy stored in the batteries mm -hmm. to variable frequency AC power to drive this system. This is a synchronous motor, so it has a very precise feedback device that allows us to control it accurately. Mm -hmm. That's what our drive does. So we connect to the foot pedal. Foot pedal runs a little sensor that picks up the angle of the pedal. All right, I hope to become accustomed yeah, to that. Right, that sensor, so there's no throttle cable or anything. That sensor in this cable runs over to the drive and says, this is how fast I want to go. Okay, we're on our way. Let's go see if I can beat Andrew's lap. What do you think? I think we have experienced the ultimate. I was not expecting anything like this, were you? It was amazing, absolutely amazing. 